Today is Monday. Government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. There's too many rules at work. There are 40 rules all shrewd boys must learn before the age of five. Have a coworker, a friend, or if you can stand it, your boss make periodic checks to see if you're on target to finish on time. The person in the cubicle always looks back out at you because they're starved for some sort of human contact. I guess it's just the end of courtesy in the workplace. Who the hell are you guys? They're absolute savages and hooligans. You look like a half-empty toothpaste. You're beautiful. That's never not creepy. Come out there and do anything about that dog. If you're just going to get a dang old computer, I ain't going to come over here and shut that dang old dog up. Not only was it authentic frontier gibberish, it expressed a courage little seen in this day and age. Showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Well, it's a mistrial in the Bill Cosby sex assault case after the jury remained deadlocked for days. The seven men and five women were unable to reach a unanimous decision after some 53 hours of deliberations in Norristown, Pennsylvania. Apparently, they couldn't decide if he's guilty or guilty as hell. Anyway, Cosby, who is accused of drugging and sexually assaulting Andrea Constant in 2004, his lawyers had argued the sex was consensual. The U.S. comedian could now face new proceedings. He walks away from court a free man, but the prosecution has already said they'll be pursuing a fresh trial. Dozens of women say he assaulted them, but statutes of limitation rules means he was only allowed to be tried for Miss Constance allegations. Elizabeth Banks took aim at Steven Spielberg earlier this week during a speech at the Women in Film Crystal Plus Lucy Awards, calling out the famous filmmaker for failing to direct movies with female leads. However, she omitted one important work. She came under fire for forgetting about his 1985 film, The Color Purple, which starred Whoopi Goldberg in her breakout role and earned 10 Oscar nominations, including one for Best Picture. On Thursday, Ms. Banks issued an apology after the backlash mounted via social media. Yesterday was Father's Day, and hopefully you didn't get your dad something fancy for Father's Day. A lot of dads just want a little quality me time, which they usually only get, yep, in the bathroom. One wife and three young girls, estrogen fills my world. Don't get a moment's peace Till I'm on that toilet seat And I make myself right at home At last I get to be alone I'm your dad, but you can call me King of the throne I have every magazine I'll ever need some for the photos and others I read. Most I hide behind the tank. Playboy and one that's full of skanks. I hate carpeting on the toilet seat. It's hard to keep up when I pee. Oh, oh damn, I think I missed. Oh, my wife is gonna be pissed. It's been one hour, I huff and puff. Man, I hope this thing will flush. I'm your dad, but you can call me king of the throne. What are you doing in there, Daddy? I'll be right out, dear. Oh, Daddy, what smells? <laughs> Donald Trump's approval rating is now at 34%. Trump doesn't care. Ratings are like women. He only pays attention to them when they're in their 20s. Meanwhile, the president's new limo has bomb-resistant doors and its own oxygen system. Unfortunately, it also contains Donald Trump. Paul McCartney turned 75 yesterday. Fans are wishing him well, because who wants to live in a world where Ringo is the last surviving Beatle? A politician in Sweden wants schools to play music in the bathrooms to cover up the embarrassing sounds students make when they, you know, go. He says any music will do, although they should probably go with Slayer on Taco Tuesday. Researchers say a few genetic tweaks to the Chinese bird flu virus could lead to a massive 
of pandemic. So here's my idea, and I'm not a scientist or anything, but how about we not genetically tweak the Chinese bird flu, people? Fox News has ditched their slogan, fair and balanced, because they want to disassociate themselves with former CEO Roger Ailes. Although I'm not sure they succeeded, considering their new slogan is, show me your tatas. An enormous blimp crashed and burned at the US Open. So hey, better luck next time there, John Daly. Actress Ariel Winter and her boyfriend just got matching tattoos, which is good because if there's one thing I know about the relationships you have when you're 19, it's that they always last forever. Time for Nobody Gives a Gene Simmons has applied for a trademark for the hand gesture that means rock on. He claims that he invented it. I've got a completely different hand gesture for Gene Simmons. Hey Gene, nobody gives a f Leonardo DiCaprio is campaigning to save an endangered dolphin. Hollywood makes him feel empty and this gives his life a porpoise. Yeah, I went there. Hey Leo, nobody gives a f Dr. Oz, which is hosted by a real doctor, hit an all-time low in the ratings. And Dr. Phil, hosted by a completely fake doctor, is doing better than ever. And that, friends, is America. Hey, doctors, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.